Wir kehren zurück zum Federvieh. Unser nächster Slammer heißt Ronik Masumda von der Klinischen Abteilung für Geflügelmedizin. Und sein Thema lautet Breaking Killer Codes. Bitte, Ronik. Oh, new faces. So, hello people. Oh, sorry, good announcement. First of all, today we are here to analyze genetic codes of two parasitic cells. First one is a bat cell. He kills the birds. But there is good news. There is a good cell as well. He protects the birds. And my purpose over here in this university is to find out what is different between them. But that is, of course, a mystery. We want to find out what makes the good one the good one, what makes the bad one the bad one. But there is a problem. The answer lies in the hidden in the genetic code. And you know, genetic code is often very, very complex to analyze. So what to do? Well, problems come on. First problem is that we can only analyze one single genetic code out of them. And the second problem is that well, um, we have to tell the difference as well. So not only we have to create one, code, one genetic code out of them two, we also have to tell what is the difference between them, what to do. Think about it. Yeah, no answer, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need two volunteers. Monsieur and Mademoiselle. Come, come. It's going to be fun. <laughs> now, imagine... I'm an alien, I just landed on Earth. <laughs> and I'm f I see two organisms like this, like the cells, you know? No, 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 no you're the bad one, yeah, sure. <laughs> Guys are bad, you know? And yeah, you are the good one. So I'm, I'm faced with a similar problem, what to do? I have to take, get two, I mean, one genetic code out of them two. What, I, what do I do? Well, at first, what I do is, oh no, sorry, thinking music. First, at first instant, what I do is I try to see what they have in common. Well, first of all, you have a body in common. You have two eyes, two hands, two legs. These are common between you two. So you have something in common. Hold this together. But what is different between them? You have something different because that's you're a girl and you're a boy. What is different? Well. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's getting frisky, you know. Yeah. Mm, kachik, kachik, you know, and kachik, kachik. You have something different, okay? So imagine the genes which codes for the similar body is here. These genes codes for two eyes, two hands, two legs in them. But there are genes which will code for your weapon down there <laughs> and your ones down there. Now, at some point, I realized that I want, to t I want to run with this because out of this planet, you know? And I, hey. <laughs> I, I tried to run away, but I realized that if I take this, I cannot make them in my planet because I miss some bits from them. What do I miss? If I take this, I'll just make a, like a body with two hands and two legs. There'll be, there'll be no, you know what I mean? <laughs> so in order to make him in my planet, I need this as well. So I take this, so if I combine this one with this one, in my planet I can make him. Am I not right? And, but I can't make him, I make her, sorry. <laughs> but to make her, I need, of course, this one over here, the body and her parts to make her. So what do I need to make them in my planet? I need all of them, actually. So that's what we did. We found out, in, now imagine, like I said, She's the good cell, he's the bad cell. So what, what I did was to find out what are the common genes between them. Once we have the common ones, what, when you take them out, like I take the body out, what will be left behind is their parts, you know? <laughs> the parts. That will be left behind. So you, get, you see it, okay, that's, that's the difference between them. And you take them out, 
and you attach them to the common ones. That's how you make one code out of them. Where is it? You have one code, and that's what we did. Enough of music. Oh, I'm but the code will look like this, you know? You have the similar ones and the, you know, the parts, but it looks like this. And then you go like, what? Bollocks, what do I see? And there is some other guy, he goes like, mmm, no, sorry. But then he goes back to his toilet or somewhere and like, you're Ronick, we have a problem. Then I come in like with a coffee or a beer, like, oh, really? That's like the problem. But if you realize carefully, you see it's a puzzle. There is puzzle, the genes coding from there, it's there. And if you, if you try to solve it, you put the words together, there are, there are softwares and algorithms which can do it for you, you realize at some point it's, ah, that's the part. That's, that's, that's the part of the genetic code which codes for them too. What is different? Our primary question between the cells, imagine her, the cells, you know, that what I told you, the good and the bad. Well, ah, clever. <laughs> that's why she's the good one. Why he is the bad one? Let's see. Find out. <laughs> That's why he's the bad guy. <laughs> Sorry. That's what we did with the cells, you know? We found out what is common between them in order to make one code. And also to tell the difference between, the, between them in single one genetic code. That's what we did. We took the parts, the parts which was left behind after you took the common ones, and you, know, you add them and you make one code out of them. And that's what we did. It is that simple. It's not so complicated. It's, but, the, but no, that's really, hey, that's my, those are my colleagues, you know? They're <laughs> laughing like, ha, ha, ha. But no, really, it is, if you think about it, it's very complex. But if you simplify the method, that's the method we used. And that method is very, very simple. So, it's simple, right? I'm probably all like, oh. They were like, what is he talking about? <laughs> no, anyways, you get the idea, you know? That's the idea we use. We took the common ones, and the rest, what was left behind was the difference bit. That's what we did, and attached them together to have something common. <sighs> now I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's an awkward alert, you know? I don't know what to say. No, no, I know what to say. Conclusions. Conclusion one, what did we learn today? Although it was a very quick and complex process, but we understood. We understood that genetics is a very powerful tool in modern science. And trust me or not, our future is heavily dependent on genetics. All the next steps we take and you know, whatever we do, it's, it's heavily dependent on genetic tools. And those who of us are working in this field probably know this, what's happening now. Conclusion three or two? Or two. Conclusion two. I have something for you guys. I mean, something to tell. I see lots of new faces and new students. I just want to tell you that I hope science inspired you tonight and you keep on getting inspired by it and uh, never give up in your career. Just always move across. People will tell you lots of stuff like, blah, 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 put them in the bin. Just never give up, you know? And now it's, now it's the awkward alert, you know? Well, just enjoy the party afterwards. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Ronick. Now I'm curious, um, did you manage to combine the two and what was the result? We did combine okay. the two cells and we have one genetic code out of them. And not only we combine them, but we also know what is the difference between them. But I, I couldn't combine her and him. <laughs> uh, it, it's technically possible, but <laughs> there will be something else other than a genetic code. Maybe the next project. Thank you, Ronick Matsumba.